Howdy y'all, Fast Forge 289. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to be changing out this old, rusty, dingy, dull looking uh, air cleaner that I got here to a brand new one that I picked up from my Riley's Auto Parts. Alright, so this is the one we'll be installing. I decided to go a different route this time. I already got the Elder Brock, so I didn't really want Elder Brock again. I wanted Ford Racing, but I couldn't find one that I liked, so I'm going to go with this. It's got a nice vintage look, good chrome, and uh, I'm going to put a sticker on here as well to go with it, and I'll show you that. Let's get this pulled out and take a look at it. All right, so here's the, uh, the air cleaner. Got a nice chrome look to it. I like the way it looks. Something a little different. And I got this sticker here to go on it. I'm going to put right here. That'll kind of dress it up a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. I think that's going to look real good on the car. And this air cleaner comes with a thinner filter. I'm going to use a thicker filter for it, like I had. All right, so we're going to install the sticker before I put it on the car. But first, I need to clean the surface. Now I can put our sticker on there. And what you can do if you're not too if you're not too good at putting the sticker on at one time the way you want it, you can take some uh, windshield water or soap and water and spray on here. That way you can kind of maneuver it and then squeegee it out and then let it sit and dry for a little bit and then it'll be fine. Real quick before we put this on, I just noticed something. The base plate that comes with that new one, you see how it's not even chrome, it's like a uh, a silver or just regular stamp steel that's galvanized, perhaps. I'm gonna use my old one, cause it is chrome, it needs some clean, I'm gonna clean it up. You won't be able to see the bottom anyway. As long as the edge is clean, then that's all that really matters. I'm gonna clean this edge up, and I'm gonna reuse the old one, cause it's actually chrome, so it'll match the lid. And plus, if you look, you see how the the edder, the one this one here is deeper i guess you'd say it sits down further than this one does so i can use my tall air cleaner with this one i have to use a short one if i use this one okay so i got it cleaned up ain't perfect but it looks a lot better set that up here and now we can place our nice new lid on here and wow that looks so much better already And then I've got to let us put our wing nut on. Um, I may use the old one because the new one, even though the old one's kind of rusty and dingy, I'll clean it up later. Maybe I'll get a different one later. But see how much thinner this one is? This has got a nice big surface to kind of have more clamping for us, which you don't need a whole lot for an air cleaner, but it just, I like the stability better. So I'm use the old one. There we go. Take our rag and go through and clean off any fingerprints. There we go. That looks good. I'll give you a close up on it. So that sticker looks really good on there now. It kind of breaks up all that chrome. It's got a nice shiny finish to it. Yep. I like that a lot better. That looks a lot better in my opinion. And also, it don't hurt. You might want to take some wax and coat this because eventually, and that is something else. Right? When I told you get your fingerprints off, anytime you install a new uh, chrome air cleaner, and you, you got to touch it, obviously, to put it on. But when you put it on, wipe your fingerprints off because if you don't, when it, the motor heats up a couple of times, it'll almost burn the fingerprints into the chrome, and it's hard to get them out. You, know, you can get them out, but it, it's hard to get them out. Whereas now you can buff it real quick, you wipe it down, and you're good to go. Also, you can put a coat of wax on here to help protect it, which is probably what I'm about to do in a minute. I'll take some of my spray wax and spray on here and coat it and wipe it down. Then I know it'll be good to go. But that's it, y'all. If y'all enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. And uh, as always, thank y'all for watching. 
and I will see y'all in the next one. Take care.